So let's look at uh, the notion of independence and uncorrelated. We have seen that if uh, independence implies uncorrelatedness because independence is, means uh, the joint density function is uh, the product of the density functions. And in this case, of course, in this case, expected value of xy is expected value of x multiplied by expected value of y. But if that is true, then the covariance of x comma y is 0. Because covariance is expected value of x, y minus expected value of x multiplied by expected value of y is 0. If that is 0, then the correlation coefficient is 0. And that's what we mean by uncorrelated. So if two random variables are independent, they are uncorrelated. What is, uh, so I'm, not, I'm going to show that the opposite, the converse is not true. So let's look at this example. So if two, I'm going to show that these two random variables are uncorrelated, but they are not independent. So first let's find out the density function of x. So we have to find out, so the joint density function is a constant over this triangular region. Triangle area is 1, so that's good. Uh, so the, <coughs> for a particular x, notice that this, is x, this line is x plus y equal to 1. This is x minus y equal to 1, because when x is 0, y is minus 1. And y is 0, y is 0, x is 1. So you have. Same thing here, when x is 0, y is 1. When y is 0, x is 1. So these are the two lines. So for a particular value of x, y goes from x minus 1, y goes from x minus 1 to 1 minus x. And the, and the density function is 1 dy. So this is simply y, 1 minus x, here x minus 1. So if you substitute the limits, you get 2, 1 minus x. And the limits on x is from 0 to 1. So that's the density function of x. You can quickly check that the area under that is 1. And similarly, f y y, of course, here y, of course, takes to, uh, for a particular value of y, the limits are here or here, depending on whether y is positive or negative. So if y is between 0 and 1, or y is between minus 1 and 0. So if y is between 0 and 1, the limits on x are from 0 to, remember y is fixed. So x is up to 1 minus y. So if y is between 0 to 1, this is 0 to 1 minus y, the joint density function integrate out on x, but this is 1. So when you integrate out, this comes out to be 1 minus y. That's the, and here, for a fixed value of y, x goes up to 0 to 1 plus y. So this is 0 to 1, uh, 1 plus y. The den joint density function is 1 dx. So the answer is simply 1 plus y. So the density function of uh, x looks like uh, at x equal to 0, it's 1, 2, at x equal to, so the density function goes like, this is the density function of x, and the density function of y is uh, like this. And clearly you can see that if you take the product of this, and uh, uh, this, you don't get this. So uh, you, get, you are not going to get a constant. So the product is 2 multiplied by 1 minus x multiplied by 1 minus y. So we can see that fxy, which is a constant, is not equal to fx multiplied by fyy, which is uh, 
2 multiplied by 1 minus x multiplied by either 1 minus y or 1 plus y, depending on whether y is positive or negative. So bottom line is here, x and y are not independent. But I'm going to uh, we'll, let's check the correlation coefficient. So covariance of x comma y. So the correlation coefficient is rho x y is covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x sigma y. So this is expected value of x y minus mu x mu y over sigma x sigma y. So in this case, I can see that expected value of y is 0 because, <coughs> so let's do expected value of y. This is y, f y, y, d y. But f y has two, so in the region from minus 1 to 1, the density function is uh, 1 plus y dy, and in the region 0 to 1, the density function is uh, here. From minus 1 to 1, it is 1 plus y. 0 to 1, it is 1 minus y dy. So if I do a, this is minus 1 to 0. From minus 1 to 0, it is 1 plus y. Right, so if you want, you can write one more step here. F, Y, Y, and F, Y, Y. So the, the density fun minus one to zero, the density function is one plus Y, D, Y, plus uh, zero to one, it is one minus Y, D, Y. If I make a simple change of variable, let's say y you replace by minus z, so this dy becomes minus dz, this becomes, so this becomes 1 minus z, y I'm going to replace by minus z, this becomes minus uh, z, so the limits become, so this integral becomes, y is being replaced by minus z. So when y is minus 1, z is uh, plus 1. So this becomes 1 to 0, z, 1 minus z, dz. This minus and this minus cancels. Uh, but you see, and this is integral 0 to 1, y, 1 minus y, dy. So this is, this is a dummy variable. If you want, you, you can replace it back with y. But notice that this integral is, these two integrals are identical. And so if I flip these limits to 0 to 1, this becomes minus. So this integral is exactly the same as this with a minus sign. So the mean value is 0. So notice that this is gone. So all I have to do is now, let's compute expected value of x, y. So that need to be done x, y f x y x comma y I'm going to do dx then dy so double integral x y the density function is 1 so dx so for a particular value of x notice that here or I'm going to integrate on y first. All right, so if you integrate on y, we'll integrate on y first, then we'll integrate on x. So I'm going to do the other way. That's easier there. Integrate on y first, then integrate on x. So x is easy, x goes from zero to one. And for a particular value of x, x goes from 0 to 1. For a particular value of x, y goes from, look at here, y goes from x minus 1 to 1 minus x. 
So y goes from x minus 1 to 1 minus x. So let's integrate that 0 to 1. This is x. And uh, this, uh, so this integration is with respect to y. So x goes outside. y goes from x minus 1 to 1 minus x, y dy. And uh, then we'll do dx. But this integral, so this is integral 0 to 1, x. This is y squared by 2. Uh, x minus 1 to 1 minus x. So top limit minus bottom limit squared, both limits uh, squared are identical. Equal quantity is 0. Uh, so 0 multiplied by something integrated is 0. So you see this term also is 0. So the correlation co covariance is 0. Correlation coefficient is 0. So in this case, x and y are uncorrelated because correlation coefficient is 0. <coughs> but we just, we physically saw that, but they are not independent. Or rather dependent. So what it says is two random variables can be uncorrelated, but they do not have to be independent. Of course, if they are independent, they are always uncorrelated. That we showed earlier. So that's all universally true. What is not true is, uh, what is not always true is uncorrelated random variables doesn't, uh, need not be independent. We just showed, we have shown an example. As I said, there is a only exception is x, if x and y are jointly Gaussian, then they because of the particular form of the density function, <coughs> if you put the, if you, if you make the two random variable, or if you substitute for the correlation coefficient to be zero, uh, then the density function becomes the product of the marginal density functions, and consequently x and y are independent. So in general, two random variables can be uncorrelated, but they need not be independent. Here is an example. 